Well, this club started in 1864. And to start with, there, were, there was very much a, a group of army officers and also retired army officers. You look at the, the list of members back in 1860, 1870, an awful lot it says abroad or India or retired or whatever. So it was a very exclusive club, as many golf clubs were, and uh, ready to survive. Forty years ago, the membership was thrown open to anyone who lived in the area. Previously, you had to be proposed second in and all the other things, and uh, so it was a rather exclusive, um, which it isn't now. Now, one would say it's probably one of the, the, the finest clubs with a membership from all walks of life and no pomposity at all, um, which is a wonderful thing. Actually, everyone seems to get on well with anyone else, whether you're a, the, the dustman or the Duke of Buccleuch, or well, not that he's a member, but uh, it, so it's a fantastic atmosphere, and people notice that when they come and visit here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky to be playing on a course that's 150 years old, a <laughs> and we're actually on the same track. The greens are in the same place, the bunkers are the same. Um, and it's just amazing when you're out there, um, thinking of all the people that have been playing good or bad golf. Mm -hmm. and just You just thoroughly enjoy it. There's never a time when you come off that course, regardless of how you've played, of how you feel, because you always feel good. And it's never two days the same. I think I find that fascinating as well, is that you can have the sunshine, you can have the wind, you can have, and you feel that the conditions are the similar one, but it, the course always plays differently. Mm -hmm. And then you have people walking around and you have horses running and you have, so there's always something to look at and, and appreciate with the nature around it as well. So it's brilliant. Mm. Didn't appreciate the sheep this morning. Bounced off a sheep no. into a bunker. Don't see hit one this morning. <laughs> It's wonderful. If you win a prize here, you're winning history. When you see our cups and our silvers and our trophies and the names and the dates on them, and then you walk in this room and you see all these boards, it's just a wonderful past. Mm. In the beginning, and the, the ladies had to have a caddy, which is someone helping carrying the clubs, otherwise they could be disqualified. And they were only allowed to have three clubs. Yeah, that's right. It was so they not were so special. Only three clubs in the bag. That's all they were, the ladies were allowed. And it was fascinating to see them in their long skirts and their hats. Bolters, yeah. And one lady um, decided that she would wear trousers. And that changed golf for ladies forever. It doesn't matter who, what, where you come from or anything. It's just, just golf. It's just you against the golf course. It doesn't doesn't matter what stands you play at because there's people range of all different standards there's just, that's why you have a handicapping golf so everybody can play it and the opportunity you get to meet player meet different people from like different backgrounds again different places and well you learn to become like like etiquette like just manners and stuff like that it's just that's golf that's uh, there's a couple of Callaway ones here somewhere. Those, those, they've got clubs in them at the minute, actually. Well, we'd like another, another good 150 years, I reckon. But um, uh, it's the future really is the junior section uh, for me, um, and also the continuous running of, of the place as it is now. Uh, but the junior section is uh, something that, well, me, I'm particularly proud of here at the golf club. Um, we've got probably one of the best junior sections in the southwest of England, I would say, uh, numbers-wise, and from the age of about five uh, right up to 18. Um, uh, I, there's many junior sessions that we do on a weekend, um, I do most of them myself actually and on a Sunday I was teaching the five year olds uh, yesterday all the way up to about 12, 13 and um, you know they're, they're the future really, if we, can, if we can bring some of them on and make them future stars then it will make the, make the name of the golf club live forever so it would be really really good if some of them could do very very well in the future.